Hi everyone, this video is the participant's guide to using butter. Now if you are attending a workshop or a meeting and the organizer is using butter, you might find this video useful because in this video we look at uh, what you should expect as a participant when joining a butter meeting or a butter workshop. Now, in the email or in the message you must have received a butter meeting link so I wanted to copy that and head over to the browser and hit uh, paste and copy paste that link in your browser and hit enter once you do that and of course if it is the if it is time to join the meeting uh, you should be able to uh, the meeting should load and you should be in a waiting room now as you can see over here in the waiting room you depending on what is configured uh, you might listen to some music uh, you might find an image of this meeting over here uh, you have the organizers name the room name and you have the option to um, select your avatar so you can either snap a photo of yourself or select an avatar and type in your name over here and then I will click on join session now butter is requesting the camera and microphone access so I need to give that permissions if I want to obviously participate in the meetings the workshops so I'll request permissions allow it and then I can very well go ahead and click on this video icon to enable my camera and this microphone icon to enable the microphone uh, I won't do that right now because obviously the video is already on uh, instead I can just go ahead and click on join session now as you can see the organizer of this meeting is already in the meeting uh, and this is me now has a, as a participant this is the view I get uh, when I join a butter meeting there's a few things that I could do I can obviously turn on and off the mic and my video I can sh request that my you know screen be shared so facilitators will uh, approve or decline this request I can react to a few things so the reaction always shows up here and the organizer the facilitator will be able to see all of my reactions so depending on what is said I can hit this button to enable some reactions now at any time if I have a question or a comment I can click one of these buttons uh, and that goes into a queue and the facilitator has access to this queue the facilitator will let me know when I can jump ahead in the queue and say what I have to say I can open the chat window uh, and type in a message um, I can also reply to messages add some reactions um, I can post a GIF uh, and do all of those things as well the other thing what I can do is I can click on notes and enter some private notes so let's say if this is private notes uh, this is rich text enabled so I can you know bold I can make headings and all of those things as well and if I'm accessing a, a butter meeting link without having a butter account what I can do is I can click on this button to email me these notes after the session is over so now you'd want to do that if you actually want to keep these notes otherwise if you don't do this and the session gets over uh, you might lose your notes so that's something to keep in mind of course this would be a different case if you already uh, have a, a butter account and you're just joining the session from there then you would see your notes in the in the recap in the meeting recaps so click on this uh, and enter your email address uh, and just click on this button here um, to, to save your changes uh, and then you should be able to you know 
get your uh, notes in the email. Now I can see here that this is still enabled. Now if I don't have a comment or question anymore, I can click on this to cancel my name from the queue. Uh, and the facilitator will know that uh, I don't have a question or a comment anymore. I can have a look at the other participants. I can copy the link for this meeting and I can also invite other participants. I can open the settings page and this is settings that will only affect me for this meeting. And then of course finally if I want to leave a session I can click on this leave button and just click on the yes leave button to completely leave the session and the facilitator will know that well they won't get a notification but in their list of participants uh, they will be able to see that I'm no longer in the meeting. So that was a quick demo on um, on being a participant in a butter meeting. Now of course uh, we haven't looked at the tools and how to interact, interact with the tools but this this is participant 101 so this should give you a fairly decent idea on what to do when you're invited to a butter meeting. That's it for this video. Like, share and subscribe and do stay tuned for more videos to come.